All right, so we're back again. Um, I poured all that water out outside where that was an intake manifold, and uh, yeah, it got on my hands. So that's the seventh time. So taking out a drink. I don't even know if I want to put these back on. So maybe I'll put some other ones back on. Um. Yeah. So uh, from what you saw last video, uh, water was all in the intake. There's sand in there. Uh, <laughs> water got all in the, in the intake ports, and um, it's a fucking mess. Uh, to say the least. Some of these two are open. I might pull these spark plugs right now and see how, and see if I can see into the cylinder, see if there's any uh, sort of rust. I think you guys are going to tilt it. Yeah, there. Um, I might pull some of the front accessories off, maybe. What I feel like pulling off. Um, and then, yeah, go from there because uh, <laughs> she's fucked, boys. Like, it's not completely fucked. It can be fixed. It can all be fixed. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty bad to have. Uh, how do I steal this? Um, but yeah, that's pretty bad to have that water and sand and shit sitting in there. Um, not this is not really good for the engine. Needless to say, they don't they don't really like the uh, water and sand and uh, stuff and uh, that kind of shit. So. I didn't realize how fucking bad this engine was, but that's okay. Because we are going to fix it. I don't like how that fully sounds, so we're definitely replacing that. <clears throat> New belt. It's free. It's free. It's for me. Uh, for now, I'm just going to belt in this front. Also got a new battery that almost that is almost fucking dead or was because it just sat in there not being charged because the engine doesn't run. You know, usual usual shit like that. Just stick you stick you right there. Here, dude, will you? Oh. Is there next to the cam sensor? Behave. Okay. Actually, I could probably pull this overflow tank off. There ain't, there ain't shit in here. There's nothing. Yeah, it's it's empty, empty. So here we'll pull that off. Uh, yeah, but we're just gonna continue working on this thing, on this heap. It's a fucking mess. So let's get to it. These tens. Real loud noises. Actually, I'm gonna not pull them fully off yet because there's hoses I need to pull off, so I need some stability. So let's grab our pliers. So if you guys feel like comment down below, see how see. I want to know how, how bad you guys think it is. Personally, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> but of course, I'm like you know I'll fix anything because I don't give a shit. Um, and I want to try and fail before I say it can't be fixed unless you know I take it to ten machine shops and they're like yeah that's 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 scrap metal, dude. Like like good luck. You know that's kind of how I am about it. But you guys you guys comment below as to what you think. Uh, because I, I am kind of interested for the three of you that watch as to what you think. You know, I like I do like reading the comments now and again because there's only a couple of you and you guys ain't so bad. You know, I don't even care if someone's being an ass. Go ahead, give me something to read. You might pass time. Mm. Mm. That's that's a uh, gross. To say the least. I'm gonna say to say the least. Like what? Thirty, forty more times. No, oh, that's right. There's this lower hose for the coolant overflow. I keep forgetting about that. Let me get that off. I was like, oh, this right. Oh, no, nope. it ain't. It ain't ready, dude. 
toes got to come off. This clamp. You're not, not a happy camper. Okay, you got it. Man, that's a tight clamp for a small clamp. Jesus. I would say I want to take this battery tray out, but <laughs> it's the same issue as I had. There's one rusted bolt right here. Um, there's two that go into the side fender, and there's one that goes into like the frame. It is fucking rusted all over shit, just like mine was. Yeah, that's how, that's how, that's how it is. I think these hoses are coming off. Come on. Yeah. Oh, there's coolant. Okay, there's not that bad. Good old shop towels will take care of that. If not, then we'll go down to Walmart and get some fucking kitty litter or whatever. I don't know what you guys use. There's pig mat, I think. I don't I don't have any of that. I wasn't expecting that much coolant in there. To be honest, because it was it was way down on the other hoses. And I don't know what like. And I just pour it. Yep, just let it piss a little bit. We just let it we just let it piss a little bit. We're fine. Completely dry. Yeah. Tiny bit in the hose, but yeah, completely dry otherwise. So this thing had, I bet some of the coolant just evaporated. I don't know where we're gonna put this for now. I'm not a storage unit, I'm a garage. Yeah, so we're getting we're getting down to it. Coolant is at least green, but I don't know how long that's gonna last for. Is this a 10? No, this is a 13, isn't it? Yes, you are, you are a 13. I will bet my life on it. Whoosh, called it. I'm gonna live. Yay. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah. We're probably replacing this uh, idler. Yeah. Sounds gritty. I don't, maybe you guys can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds gritty when I uh, when I spun it. Uh, I don't like that, so it's gonna get replaced. Where are these? Oh my god, more thirteen. Now. Someone's probably like, yeah, you shouldn't be leaning. Like that, it's not good for your back, and you're 100% right. I got back problems. <coughs> yeah, lower back issues because I stay bent over like this because I'm retarded. It's just how it is. Yeah, there, I shimmy over so I can uh, come over here and have a look at stuff. Connected down here. Oh, those are ten. Why did I think I could take those off? They're fucking tens. See, so are these all break? I'm gonna break too. No, no, they didn't. Okay, what about this one? Are we gonna go two for two? Oh shit, we're two for two. Oh, uh, that's cool. Or, hold on. To We three for three. go. Yep, you're getting ripped out. Oh, what do you know? It broke. What a surprise. I'm just kidding. That's not a fucking surprise at all. And of course, it's not a fucking surprise. 
surprised that that broke. Oh, 15s? 15? Yeah, probably some 15s over here. Seems like, oh, I bet you're gonna break two. Yep, you broke two. Fuck you. I mean, I don't really care, it's just plastic, but it would be nice if they didn't break, but. Oh, wait, what did I think of? Oh, it's 15 back. Those of you that know know that those plastic hold downs there, after so long, they're just gonna fucking break, but they always do. Like, it's just how it is. It sucks, and. how it is. It, this shit just fucking breaks all the time. Those of you probably asking questions, wondering if certain things work on here, AC something. I do like these, three-volt tensioner. Um, eh, what do you guys think? I, I don't think, I mean, it still tensions, but... Sound, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't sound the best. Maybe we'll just replace the, the uh, it tensions. So maybe what we'll just replace the, um, the pulley on it. I think that's what we'll do. Um, I could pull the water pump pulley off. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I, I think I said I was gonna pull spark plugs and look in, inside. I think maybe we'll do that after I take this off. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, uh, we probably, you know what? Probably have to get the belt. You know what? Actually, no. Where is it? See, we're not. We can do it. And when you spin it around, same thing again. <clears throat> See, just use pry bar. More pry bar. This knot goes in the intake manifold. It's not too bad. Intake ports. It's got some water in there, you know, might as well add to it. Oh, look, the coolant. Oh, it's going to piss. Oh, and it pissed. <clears throat> I'll throw more towels down there. Mm, there it goes. There we go. We got towels. Tells you down there more, more, more are. Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Was... All right, this is gonna be loud, so you know, close your ears. Are that almost got it, or I broke it? Oh yeah, we're, we're pissing more water. Come on. It's so rusty, it like doesn't, it doesn't want to come off. You know what? We'll hit it with the W. the W D over there, fucker.
yeah, WD. is free. Some people probably be like, you're gonna break the water bottle doing that. Like, yeah, yeah. I might. I might break it if it decides to be a little bitch about it. I am hitting the pulley. I understand that's it is on the snout, but come on, asshole. See, you hear that? That was a good one. That was a real good one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Oh, it's like right there, too. Get off. Come on, asshole. I will beat the shit out of you. I swear to God, if you don't come off, you will get the hammer. See, you just gotta threaten it. See? See, there it is. You just gotta threaten it with violence. Still cooling in there, but yeah. See, just threaten it with violence. It'll come off. I don't want to pull the water pump because there is still, I can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's still a little bit of coolant in here, and obviously still some, so we're going to leave it. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, other, I'm, I'm thinking about things other you guys are saying get to the spark plugs, hit the spark plugs. You know, look, if you want to get the spark plugs, you jump ahead. Um, I know, I know, okay? I know, you want me to get to the spark plug. And uh, I'll pull it right now, actually. I don't think there's anything else I really want to pull right now. You know, we're, we're in the garage, it's tight, like the car barely fits in here, so. <clears throat> that's why. Uh, that's why the engine's not coming out. Because trust me, if we were, if it was not raining outside, which I don't know if you can hear, um, this this thing would be outside and this engine would be coming out in probably like another three hours. I didn't want to guess. Because I mean, I pulled the trans, I had most of the stuff ready to come out for the transmission in that time, less than less than that, two and a, two hours, two and a half, um, and then you know engine mounts and stuff like that. I think I could get this thing out like that long from where it is now. Some people might be saying that's optimistic. It takes me blah, 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 but I think I can. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to doubt myself. I think I can. I've been through this engine enough. I've been, I've been through a, a Cobra plenty of times, so I'm not going to. All right. <clears throat> You guys want to have a look, so let's have a look. And what size do I have on here? A 10. Okay, yes. Here we go. You guys want to look? We're going to have a look. Because uh, I want to look too. I texted the, the old owner and I showed him all the stuff and he's now in the let him listen to the water that got in there. He's like, man, how'd that get in there? I'm like, Jesus, dude, I don't fucking know. Maybe you drove through a fucking puddle like you said you did. Dumbass. No, he's a nice guy, but still, it's like, come on now. You know what you did. Don't act like you didn't. Or don't act like you don't. You, you know what you did by now. Like, it, it hasn't run for years, you know what you did. You may not want it to admit it to yourself, dude, but, but you do. You, you know it. Okay, so it's five and six. Remember, last time I pulled these out, there was oil in these. Okay, uh, we have one of these, a nice magnetic uh, spark plug thingy. So, 
Where is my extension? I threw it up here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Do I need any more than this? No, I don't. And don't worry, I'm not forcing this thing that hard. Ugh. Oh, magnetic. Let's go. NGK TR55GP, so correct heat range at least. And this one, a same thing. Okay, so let's see if we can see anything. Yes, I'm climbing up onto the car again. Oh, we got Harbor Freight blankets. We got this. <clears throat> Can I see anything in those ports? No, they're open, but I can't see no light coming through. Oh, there is a little bit. I can see some light, but not, not enough. Not enough to determine anything. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I can't I can't see enough to determine if what's going on. Ow! I can use two lights. Maybe I could see something then. I see a tiny bit of rust pass there, but I don't I don't know. The valve, I, I'm gonna replace all the intake valves, they're probably gonna get laughed. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry, I'd like to show you guys, but at the same time, it's there's like there's nothing to see. Like I can't see shit either. Like I can see the tops of the piston and it's a little wet on this one. This one I, I can't tell. It's like it's dark. Uh like the pistons, you know. Uh it's carved up a little bit, you know, it's kind of black. They don't look like they've been steam cleaned. So You know, but I'm, I'm still wondering, like, it, the car very obviously hydrolocked. Like, we know that now after uh, pulling all this apart. Like, there's water in the intake manifold. There's water in the fucking ports. There's rust in them, right? So the only way that happens is water. So, or, or something other, something else corrosive, but water in this case, because there's water sitting in this port. So <clears throat> what do we do about that? Um, it, it's going to need intake valves. Um, I'm going to end up having to clean the ports. Uh, with, you know, a little bit of sandpaper, but that's not terrible. Um, I don't even know what else I want to pull off. Maybe I'll pull off the bed, you know. Like I said, this 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 is rusted. Now, I could pull the fan out. I don't really have any where to store the fan right now. Maybe I won't. Um, yeah, I think, I think I might be done with this for the day. Just for a little while. Um, get some food. And, uh, so I hope that the... I, I mean, I know there's people saying, there's, you guys are probably saying there's more that you can do. Like, yeah, I could, I could pull one of the, I could probably pull that cover off and see, you know, did it snap a chain or something? I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. I mean, it's not hard to put back on, but still, I don't know if I want to do that right now, really. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut it here. And then um, hopefully, uh, it, I mean, it's not going to rain tomorrow. Maybe I'll push this thing outside, get a lot of the stuff out of it. Uh, more of the accessories and the shit like that. Um, and then maybe we'll, look, we're gonna pull the exhaust and stuff like that and maybe we'll see about pulling the engine then. I don't know. Um, we'll find out tomorrow. I think we're good for today though. We got a lot done. I think it, maybe it's time to get something to eat. Maybe, eh, it's probably closer. Eh, it's like three, I think. Yeah, anyway, uh, I'll upload this when I get a chance.